Welcome to my backlog, where I use a random number generator and my Steam controller to play through my backlog. This is Shiplord, and uh, I'm gonna go and configure it a bit. So let's start off with putting this as a mouse, because in spite of what the story might tell you, or what it might look like, it's definitely much best played with one. Mm hmm turn it off and good turn these into the mouse I think a right mouse button actually does something, but that's okay. Uh -huh. Options. So these are the control schemes, and don't worry about these. You don't care. That's not relevant. Uh, it's just about these three: shields, time slow, and gravity. Slow ship space. Yeah. Who cares? I will do this just for the sake of completion. My first deck, yeah. So this is two mouse, so I have the gyro as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, I did draw. Now, these buttons. Uh, I have four buttons available for me. Plus whatever is going on over here. Yeah. Plus this. Q, W, E. Q. W. And E. I'll just make it above me. Let's do escape and... I don't think that matters. Oh, well, I could put a space button here. Oh, that's good. Uh, I could put the same here, just because. Mm, Q. To be a space. Just so the people who are preferring to use the stick and the buttons, it's nothing to do with. Right, this should be enough. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some text here as well. This is the shield. This is time. This is the uh, suck. It's called polar. Slow ship. Okay. Uh, hmm. I notice that there is no actual attack button here, which mm, might seem a little weird. Oh, look! It's the plot. The year is twenty four twenty. Is twenty four twenty. The universe is at war, and the only known energy source in the universe is the Quasar. Using Quasar is the only way to keep other planets alive. It does this by keeping a planet's atmosphere stable. Quasar is a white substance that can only be found in the asteroid debris produced by the explosion of a planet's core which occurs when a planet comes too close to its sun. Quasar manifests himself as white energy, spawning randomly through the remains of the planet. Species that have evolved enough to learn to harvest this most valuable of resources in space surpass all others, and in the end, from thousands, 
Only these few remain to control the fate of all others. One of those more powerful races is the military race called Krip. The Krip's most fearsome warlord, General Zorg, is scouting one sector after another to find dying planets in order to harvest more Kesar and therefore bring more glory and power to the Krip Empire. He and his crew are bound to encounter our brave little heroes that will shape the very foundation of the new order of the universe. A brave little crew being the last hope of a planet called Earth set themselves on one last brave journey to save it from the fate others have faced with the weight of an entire species on their shoulders. Wow, that's crusty. That's... That felt like first take material. So yeah, Quasar. Um, Legenda finds his mail, apparently. And that's... Captain, we received it's really all you need to know. Captain, the coordinates were true after all. There's a vast field of Quasar ahead. Please do your best. You're our last hope. Right. Yeah. Let's try that again. Captain, we received a message from the This is basically the entirety of the game. At least for the first couple of parts, there's supposed to be boss fights I haven't actually gone to. You're not shooting things down or anything like that. You're just collecting this male quasar. And that's going to be happening for about two-ish minutes. A hundred seconds. So one minute for you seconds. Yeah, you can do it with a stick as well. Is it good? Mm. It's fine. But like you have the options, so I put it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got the wood metal. And then one more, I guess the bronze. Oh, fuck. This is why I put the mouse. Uh, I'm going to boost the mouse speed sensitivity a bit, though. Captain, we received a message. Yeah, that's great. That is incorrect. I actually completely cut one out of ten. Well, okay, so uh, I got 109, so I got a diamond medal, and with medals you can unlock new ships. Um, uh, they all seem to be doing the same thing, just reduce the cooldown for abilities, of which you have none at, at this time. It's okay. I'll reduce it by half. I kind of getting things I don't have it yet. Funny stuff. Then I have um, these points. These are given by the medals. And uh, wood medal gives one all the way through diamond, which gives five. Or six. It's confusing right now. And um, you just uh, upgrade like so, and that'll be in and there. And that's basically what's going on. So you have here just, just some cooling towers and directions. So, um, oh. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and do the next level. Hey, I got the shield now. It's got two upgrades associated to it. The cooldown time and the duration. I'm focusing more on my energy collector, but that's okay. So the shield is the key button. And... There it is. That's the shield. This game is pretty tedious, so... You know... It's cheap, but... Tedious. Shield recharged. Cool, thanks, babe. Here we go. Shield isn't really necessary at the moment, it's not too difficult to gather things. Oh, that's the diamond metal, I guess. No, I just fucked up on the first one. That's okay. Is I got a new ship, y'all? Wait, how do I still have that? Whatever. <coughs> so, this uh, just keeps going until you, I guess, go here. Are the boss fights? I. Yet to actually go there, so. So I guess uh, let's find out what that looks like. Um, let's start with this mission. And then that's the Time Force field. No plot. All right, I'll be back in a bit then. Okay, I completed the first four levels in diamond metal now, so uh, let's do this boss fight then. Select difficulty. Oh, interesting. Uh, diamond. Scanners are picking a very large amount of KSAR straight ahead, but we're bound to intercept home enemy ships as well. Be sure we're not the only one with this information. Sir, we're being hit with the energy beam. I'm afraid we lost everything except the movement control. Okay, so this is basically supposed to be the best part of the game. Uh, the bullet hell part. Captain, scanners. Boring. So all the other ones, the meat and potatoes, it's all basically the same, just avoiding meteorites and all that. Okay, I need to know what my hitbox is. Captain, scanners are picking... Okay, phase one. Your ship is so puny. No wonder I keep missing. Let's see how you do against this. Well, that was good for trading mouse control. Too bad it's only like once every four levels. Is this random? Looks random. Hey, it's not the size of the shit that counts, mate. I think that might be a... Uh, what the hell is going on here? Rotation, no. Sensitivity vertical scale. 
Alright. Make it a little lower, see if that helps. Captain, scanner. Probably pretty well. Ha ha ha. Okay. Damn it. Oh, that was a good uh, gold one. Scanners. Let's just end this already. Okay. This is probably a good time to mention. I'm not very good at shmups. I could try to get better at it. And I suppose this game is good for that. Yeah, still just on the timer. Come on, man, get some new material. Done this before. Captain, large chunks of asteroids are heading our way. This could be our only hope. You gotta do it again, huh? Yep. Yeah. Because it worked so well the last couple of times. Reports say the enemy ship is destroyed. This will surely anger the Crip Empire. Good, I guess. Well, that's, that's the end of him. And I guess the, the whole thing just repeats a bit. Let's check out level 6, see what it's like. Yep, yeah, that feels familiar. Alright, well, uh, fuck it. <laughs>